Hello everybody. Me and Logan are in my wife's BMW and we're over at the campground. It's called Peters Park and it's just four miles from my house. It's just up over the hill from my place. And what we're doing here is we're dumpster diving and we're just getting the nickel cans. Of course, here in Iowa, we have a five cent refund on cans and bottles. So we're collecting them. This morning, I took in a bag of 240 cans um, into Smithland. There's a lo local convenience store gas station. My daughter works there part-time. And so I took in a bag of cans and a bag of bottles. The bag of bottles was $6. And bag of cans are 12 you put 120 bottles in plastic bottles in the bag and that'll fit 240 cans so that's what I done I took them in so I got $18 this morning in refunds and then on the way home we come by here me and Wyatt did Logan's older brother and we picked up some cans we went through two dumpsters and got exactly $12 worth of cans so now Logan and I just hit this dumpster right here. As you can see, there's a dumpster here. And in the background, you can see all the water. It's a great big, basically a man-made pond. They used to be a gravel pit. They dug gravel out of here for years. And there's fish in that water. But anyhow, we're over here and we're hitting the last two dumpsters and then there's some trash cans. I know people kind of look at you kind of funny when you're digging in them, but I don't care. I make a lot of money when I used to do this. I used to make my house payment and car payment. I used to do this full time every summer for several summers. and It made my house payment and my truck payment. I was making well over $1,200 a month digging cans. And that's just hitting. All I did is, all I done is went to uh, one, two three campgrounds that I hit faithfully and of course I told you there were seven seven of them within 30 minutes of my house but I hit the three big ones this is a big campground now it used to be not this big and there's a couple of them that the county's made since then that weren't around when my kids were little when I used to get cans but that's the kind of money I used to make about $1,200 a month just on cans alone so and that's just hitting them on Sunday mornings every month so just to show what a person can make if they really want to. We're gonna go down here and hit this other dumpster. We already got, oh, I was counting and Logan kept talking to me and I lost track. I lost count of how much money we had. <laughs> and uh, so anyhow, we'll just have to recount them when we get home, bag them up. We'll have to take the cans put in one bag and count them out and count out 240 and then the other bag we'll have to put the bottles and I do have some glass bottles we'll have to put them in boxes so that's just the way they do at the recycling center so I'm gonna let you guys go for now we're gonna hit this other dumpster up here and see how we do see you later okay everybody we gone through the second dumpster. It wasn't quite as full as the first one. But there's a couple trash cans over by the swimming area and we went through them. And we got quite a few cans out of them. I'm guessing we probably got, you know, $14 worth of cans and bottles. And this morning, Wyatt and I got exactly 12. I counted them. I'm just guessing what we got now, but I'm guessing at least $14 worth. And got 12 this morning so stopping by here two times maybe a half hour each time so not bad gives the boys a little extra spending money is all and teaches them if they take the time and do a little work they can make a little money get off their butts and not be lazy uh, Logan keeps asking me right over here by this trash dumpster there's actually a wire cage and he keeps asking me what it's about what's that cage for what's that cage for well what the cage is for is for people to dump their 
refund cans and bottles for donation to help improve the park. Well, this is a county park and uh, taxpayers actually paying for the improvements anyhow. And I, truth be known, the uh, donation, can donations, is actually probably for the campground host for to give to their grandchildren. I know the couple that are the campground host and I'm sure it's just a, they posted it for gimmick just so people put their cans and bottles in there. But to be honest with you, there isn't a single can in there. There ain't one single can in that cage. I'm gonna show you the swimming area real quick and then when I back up, I'll show you the can the basket or the cage for the cans and you'll see that it's empty right there right here is a swimming area you can see the beach right there the sand but that's the swimming area you see reflections off the water those are the reflections of the trees right there but that's a nice size pond and there is fish it goes clear on around on that other side it's kind of horseshoe shaped well it's got a island that sticks out there but anyhow right as I'm back up here right there is the cage and that's for donations see it says can donations on that sign for park improvements but it's absolutely empty not a single can in it. Not a single can in it. And it's over halfway through the month of June. So there's been a few months of camping here, no cans in there. I ain't saying they didn't empty some of them out, but usually they'll sleep them in there till it gets clear full, and I'm sure that. If they've emptied it, it hasn't been very many times. So I do better digging through the dumpsters than what they do for people donating. Because I was digging through bag after bag of trash. And of course when people clean up their picnic areas, they all they do is uh, pick up all the cans and bottles and everything else and throw it in the dumpsters. People are too lazy to keep the cans separated and take them down to the cage, as Logan calls it, for those cans. So, which is fine with me. I don't mind digging through the dumpster, and getting all that money out. Well, I'm gonna let you guys go. It's getting dark. We're gonna head out. We're gonna stop and wash our hands real quick, and then we're gonna head out, head home. We're just over the hill from our house, so. See y'all later, and don't forget I love you. Bye.